Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't sat down to film a video in for so blood clot long. How is everyone doing? If you are new here, welcome to the Plastic Family. If you are returning, what's going on girl? Today's video is going to be a review. I feel like I haven't reviewed just one product for ages. And I thought I had to do it because I showed these in my vlog and a lot of people were like, give us a tea. I'm going to get some DMs. They're like, what's that line? Give the dark skin friendly. Are they for that girl? So these are the Dior powders. And if you guys want to see what they're saying, keep on watching. Bang. Okay, so uh, how's everyone doing? How are you? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you out of lockdown? What's going on? Like, London is now out of lockdown. Like, I feel like, you know, everyone's starting on bopping. I was out last week. I was definitely doing too much. And it's definitely taken a toll on me, but child, that is for the vlog. It's for the vlog. Anyway, we are now reviewing today the Dior Face and Body Powder No Powder. I've been using these. When did I get these? So I actually had one of these already in... I'm not sure what shade I had it in. I think I might have had it in 6N. Was it 7N? No, it might have been 7N. And Dior kindly sent me 6N and 9N. So 9N's quite dark. And 6N's kind of like my skin tone shade. And 7N, I can use quite a few. But when I see this on trend mood, Dior will actually get in drag. Because you, the girls are just like, where are more shades? But I think when I show you this powder, you're going to realise that, okay, we know why they've done this. Um, again, I'm going to give you all like the, you know, the details, the breakdown before we put it on. Let me just read. So this is £29.50 and it comes comes in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 shades. Um, it says here, the face and body no powder helps to create an even naturally matte and luminous complexion that lasts all day long. With no powder finish instantly, the skin appears perfected. Imperfections are blurred, blurred darling. <laughs> the shine is reduced, the complexion is naturally more even and the texture is smoothed. I would definitely say that. So let me swatch them all for you. So let's start with six. <gasps> Ooh, One, okay, let's start with six N. One thing about Dior, packaging is amazing. The only thing that upsets me is that this, well, obviously, the more you use it, it's going to fade away. So, it's, you know, for those girls that love the aesthetic, it's, it's aesthetic for me. Who is having that conversation? Um, definitely get your pictures with this before you use it because, honestly, it will fade. Um, I'm going to swipe six and this spools so smooth and buttery honestly um so that's six and there can you guys see that oh when i swatched it but when you actually use child anyway when i swatched it wow that's actually so pigmented so that's six n so this is six n neutral so this has more of like a neutral undertone which i definitely can see it's not too red it's not too orangey i don't have all of them by the way this is the one that i just have is seven n i can use seven n as well i actually use seven n in face and body which i'm going to use as well so, see look this is the one I've been using. This is the one I first got and it's fading. I just love Dior. The one thing about Dior, they have been stepping their game up. So that is 7N. Can you guys see that? Oh, let me do another swatch because it's not giving what it needs to give. So that's 7N and that is 6N. So 7N is definitely more neutral. Why does 6N swatch so like, you know, intense? And this is 9N. So this is a bit darker, super beautiful shade. There's one more shade after this. And I could probably use this as like a light bronzer or contour. I'm gonna really dig in there. And this is 9N. See, you can see that's much warmer. So you can get these to show up darker if you obviously use more of a denser brush. But obviously, you know, that is a T. I'm actually going to show you these. I've actually primed already. One thing about Dior, I will say, they have improved their complexion so much. If you were to go into Dior maybe like three or four years ago, they had like one dark shade which was so red it made me look like an orange. <laughs> the hell? They didn't have any concealers for us. It was very just, it was just for, you know, the Sarah's the other ones, the Janes, it was very much that kind of brand. But Dior has definitely stepped their game up. I feel like, yeah, Dior has definitely stepped their game up when it comes to luxury because... Anyway, I actually did prime with the um, Dior Backstage Glow. This primer is really, really nice. What I will say, this powder is really, really nice if you don't really like like wearing a lot of makeup, if you're kind of that minimal babe, but you can wear it alone or like over foundation. What I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna wear it just by itself so you guys can see. I'm not gonna put all the colors on because I feel like it's just a bit mad. I'm probably gonna use the one that I've been using the most. Hold on, is it six and I've been using? I don't think I've used six M, but I'm actually gonna use six M five, but I feel like seven M's just more me. Mm. Let me do six N. I'm gonna put six N just on note, like nothing on, just so you guys can see it. I'm gonna use, oh my God, I'm gonna use this milk, um, milk powder brush, cause this is the one I've been using it with. I'm gonna dab it there. 
I'm actually just gonna dab it just to, yeah. Seven and seven and is that girl for me. I'm just gonna dab it on just so you guys can see the difference. I'm gonna swirl it because you know when you use a powder brush, it actually doesn't pick up that much product. And I feel like if you guys like that minimal, no need for foundation, you're gonna love this. So I'm gonna like dab it like that. What I will say is when you have this on, it feels undetectable. Like you can wear this by itself. I feel like obviously if you have like like really this like hyperpigmentation and other stuff I've color correct before, you could definitely use this as like you know a powder foundation, but it's not gonna give you that much coverage. But if you don't like wearing something as like heavy, this is definitely a vibe. Like look, can you see? It's just can compare to that side, you can see it's oh oh what's in my eye? Oh Oh no ma'am, oh no ma'am. Oh my God, so it flew in my eye, chub. Anyway, so you can see by that side, it's definitely taking away the shine because the primer is very luminous, but this is what it looks like by itself. And you, I think you, let me try and use a denser brush actually because the milk one's very, let me use this milk one because this one is so dense. I'm literally just stamping that in just so we can get that full shebang. As you can see, it's not cakey. Let me move in a bit closer. And it just looks super flawless. Obviously, I feel like on the camera, it's, is it looking great, is it me? But it doesn't look great. In real life, I think it's just the lights, but it's super, super beautiful, like I'm in love. Just for the purpose of this video, I'm actually gonna put on 9N on this side, just so you can see what this looks like. Just so you know, I'm not, maybe not this dark, but, ooh, hold on. Okay, I'm literally just doing that. Obviously, I wouldn't put it on like this, but I want just to, for you guys to see the coverage and how, you know. Maybe 9N is a bit more better, maybe just without foundation because, hmm. You can definitely see it's giving this side a bit more shallow, but I could definitely wear both actually because it's not pigmented. I think when I just use my, let me use my finger. See, when I use my finger, you can definitely see how dark it is, but when you use a brush, it's so sheer and nice. Powder's banking, guys, it's so nice. I'm actually gonna put on some foundation to show you what it looks like over that, just so you can get, you know, the best of both. I'm giving you guys the full review, review okay? okay? I've been wearing this now for like a week because I bought um one shade from Boots. Oh my God, I didn't use the brush. Oh. I'm gonna use the brush when I put it over the foundation. Oh. So I'm currently just putting on a Dior Backstage in 6.5. Obviously, you guys have seen me use this foundation before. It's beautiful. I feel like if you like, actually, if you guys want me to do a review on the new matte, it's not even new, the new colors of the new matte face and body, let me know. But if you like matte face and body and you don't like it being so dewy, definitely go for the Dior one. They have so many shades and I wear six point, I can actually wear a lot of the shades in this um, foundation. I actually always forget how amazing this looks. Oh, not the mirror sliding. Hmm, I didn't even use that much as well. Okay, so this literally, this might have been a full phase. It might as well have been a full phase of look like Dior. Dior Forever Concealers. Again, I feel like this is such an underrated concealer. It's so good. Again, I feel like the tones in the concealer, maybe I just don't have the right shades, but I definitely have to mix because the shades in the concealers, I feel like there isn't enough golden undertones. Maybe, again, I haven't explored the shade options, but I just feel like, again, the concealer could definitely use, the formula's nice, but again, it's just, I don't feel like there's enough shades, but guys, there's one Dior fragrance, even Kim, if you're watching, anyone that loves fragrance, you know my fragrance bitches. There's one fragrance, I went to South Dior with my friends last week. Dior have this new fragrance, it's called, to it's called Tobacco Color or Toba Color. Oh, guys, I've been thinking about this fragrance all weekend. I've been thinking about this fragrance all day. It's so beautiful. Like it's got tobacco, vanilla, plum notes. Honestly, it's probably the most beautifulest thing I've smelled this year. It's so beautiful. Like I just keep thinking about it and I feel like when you keep thinking about a purchase like that, you just have to get it because when I say I've been waking up and thinking about this Dior fragrance, I have been thinking about it every single day and that's one period i'm definitely gonna smell it again and see if i have the same reaction because when i smelled it the first time me and my friend nina were in such shock okay so now we've got the face on i want to use 9n as a contour so i'm gonna take my smith brush Ooh, like this again i think this would be nice as like a bronzer slash contour because it is actually neutral but again because these powders don't really 
pick up a lot unless you swatch them with a finger. I feel like these would be like the perfect kind of contour. They're so nice. Also, do you need bronzers? Do you do bronzers? They definitely don't do, no, they don't do bronze for deeper skin tone because, hold on, Gucci have given us bronzers, Chanel haven't given us bronzers. I feel like all these brands are now starting to like, you know, be like, oh my God, we need to be more diverse and like, babes. This should have happened years ago, but it's good to see them making that change. Obviously when um, Gucci blew up the foundation in 40 shades, I was like, huh? <laughs> but um, yeah, this is working really nice as like a contour plus. It's not too dark, which I love. Actually, actually, it's very neutral though, so this is definitely more of a contour shade. I definitely think they do like a 9W or like a 8W. This is definitely a full face of Dior, which is mad, but obviously we're concentrating on the powders. I actually forgot I had this um, setting spray, which they sent me a while ago. This is the Dior Forever Perfect Fix Set Refresh and Hydrate. I've never used this. Have I? I don't think I've used it, so let's... Ooh, it's quite abrupt, but... <laughs> I think that would be really nice on holiday and I like, look, it's just the aesthetic, for, it's just, look at the aesthetic. Hold on, let me just fan my face because she's looking a bit moist. Take this fan here. I got this off Amazon, but she's a bit loud. I'm not sure if you guys can hear her, but I need to have her on while I'm filming because my ass, the armpits are always stinging. It's always very hot in the room. It's just, so I use a bit of 9 in under my eyes. You guys can see it's very neutral. It's a wash of color. And then I haven't set my face. You can still see it has a sheen. So I'm gonna use the 7M powder and literally just dab it just to see how it looks over foundation. I'm actually really liking this full face of Dior. It's like glowy, but natural, but just such a vibe. Like, as you can see, I can already tell it's taken away some of that shine, but when you even put the powder in, like it doesn't take up that much powder at all. So if you want more of like, I don't even think you could even put this to full coverage. It's definitely like a sheer powder. I'm trying to think what I could even compare it to. It's not like a MAC Mineralize because it doesn't really have that baked kind of finish. Are these baked? They could be baked actually, but um, it kind of reminds me of, um, that's the thing, like I, have, I, I don't really have a powder like this, which I love. I just love how slim it is because like, you know sometimes with powders, especially like when they're so bulky, you can't really put them like in your handbags or your clutches. And I just love the way how thin it is. That looks really nice. So that is what it looks like. Concealer set, foundation powder on. You can see it's super beautiful. And actually this looks, it just looks like skin. You can tell by a little something, something. Like Obviously it doesn't look like I've got no foundation on, but I really like this powder guys. It's so nice. And obviously, as I said, I've been using this for like now, maybe like a week or two, but it just looks so undetectable on the skin. And I feel like this is one of those things that I wouldn't wear this with uh, first of all, the way I displayed it at the start, you could wear it by itself. I probably wouldn't wear it like that. I would wear this with like a concealer or maybe like a sheer foundation just because it looks best to me personally over something that's sheer already. Do you know what I mean? So I just think this looks so put together. And obviously after this, you could probably just like add blush and a lipstick and you're good to go. I didn't use the brush. I'm a dumbass. Guys, so this video is all over the place. So this is the brush that it comes with. I personally don't, actually I haven't even tried it. So let me just try it. First impressions. Okay. Maybe you, <laughs> maybe you do need like more of like a, this brush is quite stiff, but it's do, it's doing what it needs to do. Okay, I'm gonna test this out a bit more, but I use another brush, but obviously we all have brushes. Okay, before I wrap up the video, this one Dior lipstick, I actually got this myself, but baby, this shade. So this is called Dior 100 Nude Look Map. Just look at this shade, it's so flipping nice. I've used this so much. One thing about Dior and their lipsticks, they're gonna give you a formula. Their formula for lipsticks are just, they've just always been kind of girl, you know what I mean? So hold on, I'm gonna swear it here, like that, banging. And then I'm gonna press it. It's so smooth. So guys, this is the finished look. I really, really love it. It's very natural. I, I think it's like, the best I've actually really liked my skin throughout this year. Again, with these powders, I've worn them already and I kind of know how they wear. Super, super nice. I kind of look at them as like a colored blotting powder because I've applied a lot and a lot and they haven't really gone cakey. Again, if for shade reference, if you are kind of around my skin tone, I would definitely go for 7N. And obviously, you've seen how sheer they are. You could probably go for um, 9N if you want more of a contour shade, but definitely 7N, or you could even go for 8N, but you can see how this gorgeous it looks. It looks so nice. Let me zoom in for you. 
even the face and body foundation, I'm definitely gonna have to start using it again because I literally feel like I have nothing on. You know what's quite, mm, what's kind of kind of similar? Like Fenty Eardrop versus Dior face and body because they're kind of like a really good versus because they're both different consistencies. Mm, actually, maybe the, actually the Dior the Dior face and body is more coverage, mm, but okay but yeah i really like these powders definitely let me know in the comments if you've checked them out or if you've actually tried them because these has been out for they've been out for literally a hot minute now and i really really like them hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you guys like like detailed reviews on products like this definitely let me know and can, i can i can literally do more for you guys because i have so much new products that i literally want to show you or if you like them more in a all kind of new product video let me know in that kind of format can't even speak, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys have a lovely week, and I'll just see you on Friday. Mwah.